I know I'm late to the stream. Hi, how's everyone doing? My word, my word. All right. Let's pause the music and we should be good to go. So if you weren't here for like the last few streams, we've been focusing on finishing the Kirby post games and I just made dinner. I realized I hadn't eaten much at all today, so I made myself some food. So I'm probably going to be snacking a lot during this, so, uh, yeah. But, we've been, we're doing stuff with the Kirby post game. Um, somebody convinced me to do the, uh, what was it called? The Ultimate Cup Z. Oh, wait, my menu's up. Whoops. There we go. Somebody. It, it was a mix of like Michelle, Remus, several people at the time. I have spent nearly an hour on this. I don't know if, the, if this times you out. It could very well time us out and we need to do everything again. If that's the case, I don't know what we'll do. If I have to do everything again. If I will do everything again or if I'll just get started on a different game. But yeah, we'll see. Yeah, but it's been fun. It's been fun. a really bad start to all this. Hey, is this the hyper beam? No, this is the knives. Okay. I am not sure when is the best time to attack. During this fight, so this may be slow going at first. Uh. Yes, include where we're doing Kirby again. The Elderish God just seems to be a uh, an ongoing joke now with Kirby. <laughs> a lot. I don't really want to finish Star Allies. I don't think I've gotten past much further than the first boss. Star Allies. I 
At this point, I'm just going to become a Kirby streamer. I know you're an elderish god, but still. There we go. There we go. No, all things considered, I'm not doing that bad. I'm probably still at full health because I've been healed a bunch. chat because I am trying to get this done. We are genuinely so close. Oh my gosh. Hi, Agent. How you doing, Agent? Hi, Inkley. I don't know if I said hi to Inkley yet or not. You did? <laughs> Sorry, Inkley. Sorry. Been better how are you? I am fighting a being of chaos and I'm not having a good time doing it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now I have not gone past the second phase yet, so. Yes, this is Kirby. And here we are. No, Kirby. Michelle is this stream. This stream causes us to do very weird things. Like Fight this thing, whatever the frick it is. Oh, that was actually really effective. Holy oh, smokes.
health. Okay, staying still is not really an option here. It's a me, Chris Pratt. Actually, I did go see the Mario movie, and Chris Pratt was not as bad as I thought he was going to be. He actually did somewhat of a good job. Never seen it? Yeah, I just recently saw it myself. It's a good movie. It's fun. Okay, so here's the question. Does Marx become eventually a being of uncontrolled power? Or does Marx always remain in control? Oh, frick, I know, I remember this part. We got here once last night. Elden Gosh thing. I would consider Marx an elder god, but I wouldn't consider him the same thing as this. Which this Chaos Elfist would be a uh, higher tier elder god. So I think of it more of a spectrum thing. Oh gosh. How the frick did I survive? I did not survive. Yeah, that's basically what I was thinking. An artificial elder god. I don't know m about Marx's story. But if he was in control of his power the entire time, then he's definitely not, like, the ultimate thing you need to be scared of. Because the reason why Chaos Elphis is so scary does have to do with the fact that uh, Chaos Elphis is still obviously not in control of his power. But at the other end, nobody is controlling this all this time. I'm eating dinner. I didn't eat all day, so I'm eating dinner on stream. No, he would definitely be a step up then. Because Magalore definitely was not in control of it. The crown power at all. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I can do this tonight. Because I think I might have to start over again. If I run out of money, and I think the ne next one's going to make me unable to do another try, so... I don't know then what we should do. 
step back, sir. I mean, that's just how I consider the entire thing. Man, if I had enough money for a 3DS capture card and a Wii, I would totally go through all the Kirby games and do a tier list of all the Elder Gods that we got. would actually uh, be a higher tier than phase one I think because phase one I think he's still in control of his powers but by phase two he completely destroys himself for the sake of having the powers strength is because it doesn't matter how strong a character actually is if they cannot control their powers then they cannot do focused attacks like this form of Eflin probably would be something to be scared of but the second form honestly just attacks quite randomly and doesn't have any control so would it be more powerful to have someone who's targeted at you or would it be more powerful to someone who just has a lot of power machine be a god? That's a good question. Actually, Dark Key Blade Warrior actually brings up an interesting point. It's one thing for a character to have control, it's another for a character to lose all sense of humanity. So that is actually something else you would need to consider. How is it not that one? sentient that's another thing but at what point does a machine become sentient I guess it's, I, do, I haven't played this particular game so I don't know what the context of the sentient of the machine is you know what then I personally would say count it if, if it if we can determine that it has 100% desire on its own will that hates humanity, then that, I will say, probably counts as enough sentience.
quick, where, where's sword? Basically. Well, again, that, again, I'm still left to wonder, like, depending on the phase of Evelyn that we're talking about. Like, Evelyn could probably, in its second phase, destroy it based on pure power and pure spite itself. But... Could it actually do that because it would rely on mostly luck to get that done? Because it wouldn't have aim direct attacks like it's doing now. In this first phase, I don't have a doubt that it could defeat the machine. In the second phase, though, I'm not sure. Because it takes a fight takes a lot more than luck to win. Oh, I don't doubt it. Very true, Dark Keyblade. Very true. Back on phase two. There we go. Ink is like, uh, the sound music's great though, isn't it? <laughs> Meanwhile, we're just talking about TLS of Eldrin's gods. And here we are. Oh, they help so much! Somebody was telling me to do that last time and I didn't do it. So I'm sorry to that person, you were correct. Well, thank you, Dark Blade Warrior. Thank you. I should have listened to you sooner. to ask. 
Is something really all that powerful if it's only powerful it's in, in its own dimension? We don't know if uh, this form of Eflin would actually be powerful outside of its own dimension. Oh, shoot. Oh, frick. What's it doing? Burger? Okay. I think maybe this is why Smash Brothers is such a popular series, because you get to see, even if it's just a select few characters, you get to see a bunch of characters in an equal territory. That shows you who would actually be the more powerful one. I would actually be interested to see a game like that with all the Kirby bosses because Kirby has so many interesting bosses and you can't tell me that it doesn't. fun to think about this. I'm missing a part of the conversation because I'm still hyper focused on getting this done, but Definitely dead. It is extremely strange, but it's funny. I am so mad about this right now. 800. I don't have enough money. Thank you, Arrow. Very much appreciated. What should I do here? Because we can't retry really from Battle 12 because we don't have enough coins. And I think it's going to take us legitimately forever to get back through all the other battles. Like, it took us literally... A half an hour last time we did it. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Is Chaos Eflis the same as Facto Eflis? Is it still composed of two parts the same way? Could Chaos Eflis even leave this place? You know, I actually somewhat wonder about that too. I really wonder what the lore implications of this. Yeah, but because it just because it could technically leave doesn't mean it's going to be able to hold its form once it does leave. Am I going to get the coin rewards for doing this again? Yeah, that's the question. Is it going to be stable outside of this particular dimension? Because if it's not stable outside of this dimension, 
it's just going to default to be nothing. Okay, I'm going to see something real quick. Oh, okay. You want to know what? Let's just exit this thing. I know that seems like a weird choice, but... What are you talking about? I already know what's here. I'm not sure what I did there. Without being fully fused with F, I can see why I would lose this form, but also cannot exist without going on the door being dropping three. Actually, huh. is that maybe the strongest in the forego dimension but not in the multiverse yeah that's yeah I like the record kept me in as one battle left. My gosh. I'm gonna see if I can get any coins out of this and do this for a bit. Because we're going to need a lot of coins if we're going to do this. Dream the machine guy? Because I was about to say, it depends on where the power source of the actual machine is coming from. Because if it's ex external and it can be deactivated, then that's a very big. then that's going to be exploited. ability boy termina what wait which game is that guy from Of course, because I never finished Star Allies. I need to play Star Allies so badly. So, so badly. One shot. 
Can you like go away? One shot. It is still just a machine, and if the machine can't heal itself, then that is a very major downside to it being a machine. Because if it can't heal itself and it can't fix itself, then it's just gonna end up breaking down. We should really just do a stream where we just talk about Kirby lore. I would love a stream where we just sit and talk about Kirby lore. Like an actual dedicated stream. I would totally do a tier list stream just for Kirby lore stream. There we go. play Star Allies again. I kind of, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that would Kirby it himself. Okay, so here's a question I've had a long time about Kirby, and maybe people who actually know more about Kirby lore can tell me about this a bit more. It is clear that Kirby has some sort of powers. I'm not just talking about his ability to uh, his ability to like, how do I say this? To eat people. <laughs> but I'm talking about his ability to, um, I don't even know how to say this. He clearly has the powers to do all the things that he's doing. He clearly has magical capabilities. That's what I'm trying to say. However, he has the limitations of the abilities. Would that also make him an Eldritch God? Because he clearly has these abilities in his heart. He clear or he just wow clearly has these abilities in my opinion. Actually. Can, when the moderators put up a poll, should we uh, should we grind out the ultimate battle or do it another night? And I can try and find Star Allies or Return to Dreamland to play tonight. But thank you, Michelle. That would be very much appreciated. I'm mostly wondering if people would care if I switched over to Star Allies or Return to Dreamland. Because I don't know if I can sit here and grind for money. I might do this off stream and then for like a stream special we'll try and uh, win the uh... But if people want me to do it tonight, I'm more than open to doing it tonight. But I don't know if watching me grind for coins is really going to be that interesting. I'm just, I'm going to complete this one because I am interested to see if I do get any coins from this. Impulses give me a second to do magic. Ah, fair enough. There we 
we go. Huh. That's interesting. So does something, like Inkly said, uh, does something being made of dark matter make it a god of some sort? Interesting. Funny goatee man. Do <laughs> I keep beating up the weird mouse? <laughs> I think all the dark entities are at least low tier god creatures. Interesting. I'm sorry, I did have plans to keep grinding on this, but I didn't think it would cost so much to respawn every single time. I legitimately thought that it would just, it would keep costing 100 every single time, so I thought I had a few tries, but apparently not. Yes, I want him to cry. Michelle! I just realized Michelle put that there. Michelle! That's amazing, though. Hi, Jinx. We might be switching over to Star Allies or Return to Dreamland. I might do Star Allies because I legitimately never finished that game. I've only played like the first level like a billion times. Since we're talking so much about lore. But I do really badly want to do Return to Dreamland Deluxe as well. How you doing, Jinx, by the way? How you doing? So I think what I'm gonna do is off stream, I'm going to grind up a bunch of money on this game. Grind up a bunch of money on this game. Then we have like a boatload of money. And then maybe by the time we finish our allies, I will come back to this and attempt the ultimate challenge again. Interesting, actually. I guess that depends on the lore implications because 
The three beans that usually wear the crown, I forget their names. Um, the beans that Magalore steals the crown from. They obviously have power of their own, hence why they can control the crown while Magalore can't. Um, I, maybe Whispery Woods counts for this? I'm not fully sure. But obviously the crown itself has its own power. Interesting. Yeah, people want people seem to be okay with me switching. Um yeah. I think I'll start playing uh Star Allies then on stream. Final battle. Let's beat this round up first. Yes, I will. And then we'll go to uh, Star Allies, if I have it in my office here. There's a chance I might, and we may end up having to go to Return to Dreamland anyways. If that's the case, we'll just start a playthrough of Return to Dreamland. If I do have Star Allies in my office, then what we will do is play Star Allies, and then I think I'll do Return to Dreamland. I'm on a Kirby kick. Oh my gosh, I am going to, I am going to make people so mad because right now my entire content is a Splatoon and Kirby. I'm going to make people so mad about this. But this is so much fun for me. Yes, don't spoil the uh, epilogue for Magalore, because I haven't played it yet. I do have a personal file for Return to Dreamland, uh, just so then we're all clear about this. I'm not going to go into Return to Dreamland completely blind, because I already know the ending of it, so I've been playing it in my free time. But I'm not going to play the Magalore part until I get on stream. people have been here long enough then they're going to be able to remember the first time that I started this uh started playing Kirby Star Allies on stream shoot a being of complete dark matter that responds to emotions. What the heck are the abilities that he keeps collecting? Are they also just dark matter? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry about to start. Oh, wow, got a new record. Do we get money for that? Because that's mainly what I've been wondering. Yes, okay. We got another rare stone? For doing that? Alright, so I think that's going to be the prime where I'm, I'm going to get money. I don't know how much money you can hold in this game. But in my off time, I'm going to try and grind as much money as I can. To make it so then we have a lot of chances.
Oh, we turn to the tile screen. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and switch over to Star Allies to see if I have it. I'm going to let you guys listen to some lo-fi music. So I will be right back. So here's a question for you, Michelle. If you put the crown on a vessel that's able to be possessed, would the crown possess the vessel? Or would the crown only choose to do its actions through a uh, being of sort that can act on its own will? Because if it takes up a vessel, then it becomes a god. If it doesn't, then it's basically, how do I say this? Kind of like a genie in a lamp sort of thing. that Professor Press does it and the crown's not choosing to perhaps Lydia is the even natural host of Huh. Crown's definitely sentient so very much will be choosing to control maybe. This is why I also talked about the um we're about to get to Mad Theorem. This is why I also talked about uh, Lydia having powers because Lydia having powers definitely plays a role into preventing them from being possessed. Its intended owner could be just that as well, where it's holding on to respect. Lydia, Landia, sorry. Unless Andia, Landia appears again, we may never find out entirely. Fair enough, yeah. So I guess. I never thought this stream would become to a point where we need to figure out what level of sentience do we need to, does an object need to have in order to become a god. <laughs> Butterfly will go to the strongest opponent in battles like how we see it fused with Galactic Knight and not Kirby because he views Kirby as weak. So wait. 
The butterfly thing, I think I get the basic of the butterfly thing, but is the butterfly in more Kirby games than this Forgotten Land? It also has a being with the evil intent because we see the butterfly touch Kirby, but it's null to the transformation. Ooh. And Star Allies. Well, I mean, it says telling me if it spawns in other games is not really a spoiler. It's just, I don't, if it's, we're about to play Star Allies, so uh, let's not spoil too much about what's going on. hard to take everything into account when I don't know what all the lore. is also supposedly a bee in paradise and seems to only appear on judgment day in sword. Interesting! With the Kirby afterlife, I don't know how to feel about Kirby having an afterlife. Be able to start uh, start Star Ally soon. Michelle, my brain won't be able to handle the Kirby Afterlife. I'm always struggling. No, not the Kingdom Hearts Afterlife. The Kingdom Kingdom Hearts has some of the most confusing lore I've ever seen. I don't even know what's going on in Kingdom Hearts anymore. can start up uh, Star Allies now. Well, Kirby mostly focuses on different dimensions and planets. Game Heart focuses on worlds and whole planes of reality. Ooh, interesting. And being paradise, being nobly brought up the Morphonites based on weapon description, the Kirby class, a sword that resembles a butterfly of paradise. Oh, 
Huh. Again, if I had the money, we would play through every single Kirby game and try and make all the lore make sense. Because I think this is so much fun. I wonder if this is going into like a new age of Kirby. Of Kirby games, where they're going to be trying a whole new storyline. Are they? Because I'm thinking mostly of like uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn. Um, which one Dreamland's on? Yeah, maybe it is. Yeah, the 3DS and DS ones are the ones I'm thinking of. And so I'm saying that if I had the money. Alright, file one. Look at all the friends we got! <laughs> we got friends! We got friends! We got friends! We got friends! We got friends. We got friends! We've got friends! We got friends! We've got friends! Sorry, I kind of forgot that I did that. <laughs> Alright, let's get started on story mode. Again. Was it? Did the butterfly show up? What? I missed it. This weird screen that they have, this weird map for Star Allies. Kirby inhales any fizzy, any fizzy, eh, bap, 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 I did not mean to turn on this other controller. English looking. Good job. Nice <laughs> talking. Right? Oh my gosh. Why are we? Why are we? <laughs> no, um. I was trying to say Kirby inhales everything. There we go. Kirby inhales everything. I don't word well. That's for sure. Yeah, 
I'm not sure why it turned on. I didn't press anything to turn it on. You know, there's only one thing to do in a case like this. Uh, dude with a bomb! Will you marry me? I guess that was a yes. <laughs> yes, Mr. Deal. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, you can play two player on this? What? Oh, that's actually really cool. Now let me see if I can turn this controller off. No, hang on. It's actually going to bother me that that controller's on. Such happy vibes, yes. We switched in. We switched games entirely because uh, I kind of epically died in uh, in uh, what's it called? In Forgotten Land, so... Epically, yes. Much epic. And now we're talking about Kirby lore. At first we were just debating on uh, which uh, Kirby boss is an Elder Scroll, but now we're just talking about a lot of stuff. Dragon Bar Lord, we cap this Twitch stream, Switch games, yes. I mean, last time we were really talking about it, we were wondering if a machine counts as an Elder Squad because of certain things, but yeah. Now we're playing Star Allies because I've actually never been in this game before. And I've wanted to beat this game for a while, but I just don't get down to it. Uh, Blade, you have to go. Set the bomb on fire. Set the bomb on fire. Set the bomb on fire. Sizzle bomb! Let's go! Oh, this is amazing. I always forget how good Star Allies actually is. Star Allies is amazing in terms of concept. Going to be the next game that we're going to try and finish on stream. Because that's just the way this rolls, right?
Making me forget how um, traditional Kirby games work. <laughs> when that put everything on fire, except for when setting things on fire don't work no more. Thank you. Dracula Sorceress, I. I read this sentence as Dracula Sorceress, I don't think would be edible. But then I realized Michelle said edible. Or not edible, uh. <laughs> would, would, would count. I'm doing great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I actually thought about getting myself diagnosed with ADHD. I'm pretty sure I have ADHD. I mean, I don't really get distracted that often, but I mean... Look at the pretty colors! Julia, number one, baby! Made it for the extra fire. Yes. Hi. Hi. Out of curiosity, how long is the base story mode for Star Allies? Does anyone know off the top of the head? Hi. Hi. It isn't very long? Okay, good to know. Appreciated, my friend. Very much appreciate indeed. Uh, we tip. I typically play Splatoon here. I also play some Pokemon. But lately, we're on a bit of a Kirby kick, so we've been playing a lot of Kirby. We've been playing a lot of Kirby. But if you want to play with us during the multiplayer games, you can ask me for my FC and chat to get us to my FC and chat to get my Nintendo Switch friend code to come play with us. Uh, if you don't want to play with us, though, that's perfectly fine. You can talk about Elder Scrolls in the chat. Or any other topics that's going on in chat. Um, uh, use the following most I was so lucky to have. Or just five. We love those who just five as well. So yes, welcome. I lost an ability. I have no idea about this character Michelle's talking about right now, so yeah. Kirby Star Allies is my first Kirby game. Nice! I hope you really liked it. Or are really enjoying it if you're, this is your first time actually playing it. I'll be sent to your whispers, so uh, check your whispers.
extra door. Uh, it'll be in your whispers, so you have to allow whispers from strangers in order for it to work. should probably change that because majority of people who watch this stream are on Android. So I probably should make it easier for people who are on Android or iOS devices to get my friend code. Yeah, this game is a great start to everything for me. I mean, uh... Also really great. That's also not anywhere near like traditional Kirby games. All right, so here's a question for everyone: Is Super Smash Brothers a good start to Kirby? No, I'm, just joking. I'm joking. What is down there? There we go. What was the question? I was gonna jokingly ask if Super Smash Brothers uh, was a good start to a Kirby game because the same developer that made uh, Kirby as a character and as a game series also made Super Smash Brothers. We all try to say yes? Oh my gosh, that's kind of funny actually. Characters for sure because you had DDD in one of the Smash Brothers giving everyone stickers so then they didn't absolutely die. Um, and in the newest Smash Brothers in Ultimate, uh, Kirby was the sole survivor of the incident that we saw in World of Light. Ah, I got number two. Shoot. I guess that depends on what you count as destructive. Would being turned to yarn change your way of life? And if it changed your way of life, you could count that as destructive. And I don't know. I don't want to play this again. All right, let's uh, see what partners we get. I like the partners we have right now, but let's see what new friends we get. Who do you guys want to get? I got these three. Can I? 
maybe I'll go back and try to get marks because I typically get this guy. And I don't like him. <laughs> Ooh, actually, that's a good point. Does intent make you evil? Mummy well, intent definitely does make you evil. I am not doing this I am not having fun with this ability. Can I get something else, please? Yo, yo! Really? Really? Yo, yo. to get ride your CPU friends, that's amazing. Let me ride the hamster. That's, yeah, actually, antagonist doesn't necessarily mean evil, it just means they get in the way of the main character's goal. What's with these Waddle Dee balls? conversation uh about the bosses of kirby is so interesting because until you start talking about kirby lore and kirby bosses you don't realize how many themes kirby actually takes takes on like kirby has a hell of a lot of, of uh themes within its main stories that doesn't get appreciated for because it just looks really cute and fun but it takes on themes of like betrayal of greed. There we go. I'm probably gonna re-roll for this guy. I'm 
actually really liking Yo-Yo. I didn't think I'd like Yo-Yo this much. So I used to think Yo-Yo was not that good, but Yo-Yo is actually pretty good, honestly. Hey, the dude, the dude needs his jewels. The dude wants his jewels. You can't punch him for trying, right? Lust for treasure never dies. No, it does not. Whoops. <laughs> Look how thick we <laughs> No! No! We're not going to be talking about how thick the hamster is, please. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh, Wispy Woods? Who would have thought Wispy Woods is actually going to be the boss? Here, Shiny Eevee, let me... Yeah, the bot's just dead. What the frick? Sorry, Shiny Eevee, I didn't know the bot was actually dead. I thought I set it up today. Post my code into chat. Okay, let's try and get a new friend. We could try and get marks. Which one's marks? This one? There we go. Now we have marks. Are you spelling purple vod on purpose, Michelle? Because <laughs> every single time I've seen you type purple, it goes purple! Hi! Okay, I'm just making sure. Just making sure. Okay, it's time for Wispy Woods. Who's ready for Wispy Woods? We got a new friend with us. And the first mission is to kill the boss. But you know what? You all make me just want to watch more Kirby and play more Kirby. If I become a Kirby VTuber, it's going to be your fault. Could you imagine somebody becoming a Kirby VTuber? That must be a thing already, right? Wait, what? Here's a pro tip, you have to get a few steps before getting into the boss fight, then immediately turn around and you'll find a door. What do you mean, I'll find a door? It's, okay, are you talking the boss's room? Like the actual boss's room? Sorry, Keyblade Warrior, are you talking about the actual boss's room here? 
the actual boss is with you. Okay. Confirmation. There's a door over here. Are you talking about over here where the boss actually is? Right here? Do I turn around here? doing this. Here's a bunch of trees to figure out how to do this, but like why? Yeah, I'm not complaining. I like this sort of stuff. I never realized that this was a thing. Here, I'm assuming that I have to go through now. Oh my gosh, it's a howl room! That's amazing! Welcome to the howl room! Yes, howl room are pretty famous in uh, Kirby games for having special music and having special abilities. One of three, yeah. Fox is such a good guy. You know, I think we'll go with Suplex. I love Howl Rooms so much. Howl Rooms are great.
Yes, they did get yeeted. GG. That was impressive. I never knew that secret existed. Thank you, Darky Blade Warrior, for showing me that. <laughs> He'll give you gifts? Oh, that's so cute. Unfortunately, we chose her out of uh, murder. Hi. <laughs> Could be what when looking at what's doing. How many less times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? I mean, to be fair to Wispy Woods, he was not the first boss in uh in uh Forgotten Land. He was at least the second boss in Forgotten Land. So there's character development. Hi. Hi! Is it the right character development? I don't know. But it's character development. True! It wasn't even Wispy! What is Loki thinking about? You can redeem 34 minutes ago, but I never answered. Right now I'm just thinking of all the Kirby stuff. Cause we're talking a lot about Kirby lore, and I didn't realize how deep the Kirby lore actually went. I am definitely impressed with how much we've learned about the Kirby lore tonight. about me beating games on screen, but I, I'm having a blast with this right now. Yeet! <laughs> you hear that, kids? If you like your friends, you should yeet them! I've only played up to the first boss in uh, Star Allies. I haven't played much more after that. what you have to do. Come on, friends. I wonder how 
how hard it was to op to uh, get the CPUs to actually play along with the game because I don't think you can play this game completely solo. I think you need the CPUs in a lot of instances to get you out of trouble. Okay, what happens on this platform? What happens if I do this? Does it turn all my friends into abilities or what? Here's the window. What do you mean, window? Go back a bit? Okay. You can go through that window? Oh, wait. Can I try that again? You sure need them, but nobody said you need different ones. Yes, I have still played 90% of the game with... <laughs> I can see that, Mitchell. Me too. Me too. I never, I never knew this existed. Ah, shoot, we got blocked again. Okay, let me try this one more time. I mean, Michelle, I don't blame you. I know people who played through the entire game with the, the painter girl. Her name's Annie, right? Ah, frick. Adeline, yes. Yeah, people just play through the entire game with her. Oh boy, do I want to know what Adeline did? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is because of forehead. Okay. <laughs> Nothing evil, just forehead. <laughs> I'm going to give this one more try. There we go. The thing is, Suplex does not have a remote movement abilities. this goes. Yeah, 
Yeah, I wanted to save that for later, but then I accidentally pressed the wrong button. It's alright. Nice! We did good! I did not know that sequence was there, so thank you for showing me that. I was okay with Penny Pearl and Fry, but I can't defend her. What makes them so different? Can I get Suplex back? Uh, that's Ryder. Ryder and Suplex worked very differently. Uh, Suplex works like the uh, Kirby from what's it called? Super Smash Brothers. Fighter works completely different. I have raised Kirby. But I thought you meant like a bio dad. I'm just like, what? Just so done now. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Okay. Well, we finished Star Allies, everyone. How'd you guys like it? How'd you guys like Star Allies? Loved it, my favorite boss was Swole Dee Dee Dee. <laughs> Onwards, after we beat the ever loving poop out of one of our friends. Darkman and I on my team. World of Peace, Dreamland. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get Dark Man Eye on my team. Meta Knight! Meta Knight! Meta Knight! I'm Meta Knight!
All right. All right, so we are on Planet Parp Star. I love Midnight. Midnight, I, I adore Midnight. I think next time we play, I'm going to try and finish this game before we go back to Forgotten Land and try and finish Forgotten Land. Um, but yeah, Iroh is still on, so we can go raid Iroh and see what Iroh's up to. Yeah, other than that, I think that's going to be it for tonight for me. Um, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me tonight. Uh, I am going to be playing a lot more of this game, probably after Splatoon on Tuesdays. And maybe I'll dedicate some Thursday streams to it as well. Not Thursday streams, but Wednesday streams to it as well. Um, but yeah. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for my moderators for hanging out tonight. Keep me everything good. Um, thank you so much for the new followers. I will be back Tuesday with most likely Splatoon and, uh, Kirby. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. I'll see you guys next time. Also, I'm sorry for no morning stream this morning. I was way too tired. I was freaking exhausted. So, yeah, I'll have to reschedule the morning stream. But I will see you guys next time. Have a good night, Shiny Eevee. Have a good night, Inkly. Have a good night, Darky Blade Warrior. Have a good night, Michelle. Hope you guys all, all had fun. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!